Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to combine data sets. So there are two ways that you might combine data sets. One is to add more observations, uh, so that makes your data set longer. And the other is to make your data set wider, to add more variables to each observation that you already have. So to illustrate this and how to do it, I've brought in this data set, apple.dta. It's one of Jeff Wildridge's data sets. If I do D for describe, you can see the kinds of variables that we have in here. We have things like the price of regular apples, someone's home state. You can see their respondent identifiers. We can browse and see what the data looks like. So here's their, here's this individual's ID in the data set. We have like their education, a date, the price that they pay for apples, et cetera, a bunch of variables. So suppose that I wanted to get some sense of whether people who live in more urban states pay more for apples. One of the great pressing questions of our time. So, uh, so I have this information on what state the person lives in, but I don't have any information in here directly about whether that state is very urban or not. So I might want to make this data set wider, wider by adding in additional variables. Uh, and so what I'd like to have is I'd like to have a variable in my data set which says what fraction of the population in this state lives in an urban area, for example. So this is uh, apple.dta. Of course, I could find a data set which contains that. So I'm going to bring in this census data which comes built into every copy of this data. And if I browse in this data set, you can see here that I have the state code here. Now, in the other data set, the, the postal code for the state was called state. In this one, it's called state2. We'll deal with that in a minute. And you can see that this has, for each state, we have one observation. And that observation has, like, the population, the population in different age brackets, uh, and the population who lives in urban areas here. So I can construct the variable that I wanted, the fraction of people who live in urban areas. We'll just generate, I'll call that frac. And it's going to be equal to pop urban as a fraction of the population. And now I can go back to the browse window and make sure that this variable did what I wanted it to. These numbers look pretty reasonable to me. Uh, okay, so now I have the variables that I want. I changed this data set. I'm going to save it. It's going to save into my current directory, which happens to be my desktop. And now I'm going to go back and I'm going to use Apple again. So remember, we had this variable state here, which was the postal code. And in the other data set, it was called state2. So in order to help state find which observations go with which observations, I'm going to change this so that this is called state2. I'm going to rename state to be called state2. And now that I've done this renaming, now I have a variable in common, and I want to find the variable, find the observation in my other data set, which had a particular value of the state. And then I want to tag on all the other information about the state onto each observation here. Okay, and of course I'm going to have more than one observation in each state here. So I'm going to take many observations in this data set, and for each of those I'm going to have like one observation for California, which is going to get tacked onto each of these observations from, uh, from California in this data set. So the command that I'm going to use to do that is called merge. So let's look at the help file for this. The way a merge works is you start with one data set in memory. In this case, I already have apple.dta in memory. And then you're going to bring in another data set. So that, this one is called the master data set. And then I'm going to bring in a new data set, which is called the using data set to add more variables here. So I'm going to merge, and now I'm going to have many observations in my master data set for each observation that I have in my using data set. So I'm, that observation for California from my census data is going to get tacked onto a bunch of observations in my Apple data set. I'm going to tell Stata then what's the variable that we should be matching observations according to. So I'm going to say it's the same observation if it has the same value of the variable state2. And then I'm going to tell Stata what's the using data set. So using, in this case, it's going to be census. 
Okay, so just following the syntax, we'll do merge m to one on the variable state two using census, which I just saved in my current directory. And when I do that, first of all, it tells me the result. So 657 observations were matched. Now five observations are not matched. So three observations, which were in my master data set in apple.dta, there was no corresponding observation in the census data. And there were two observations, which were in the census data in the using file, which uh, couldn't find a match in the master file. Okay. So when I go here into the browse window, first of all, you'll see we're like sorted on state two now. So we can see here are all the observations from people who are in Alabama. So we see their prices there. And then if we scroll over to the far right side here, you'll see all this census information has been tacked on. And in particular, we have this variable called frac. So this is the fraction of people in Alabama who lived in urban areas. And then last, we have this entirely new variable called underscore merge. And this variable reports on whether this particular observation was merged successfully. So observations which were successfully matched between the two data sets take the value of three. If we scroll down here, we'll find some observations which didn't have that. So there were three observations here which were in the master data set only. Uh, so that we couldn't find a match in the census data. These are from the District of Columbia. So DC was not in the census data. And then there are a couple more observations which didn't have the merge uh, or which didn't successfully merge. Those guys are all the way down here at the bottom. You can see these are from the using data set only. So these take a value of two for the variable underscore merge. So if I wanted to get rid of observations which didn't match properly, I could like drop if underscore merge equals equals two, for example. Okay. So this is merging data together. And now, of course, I said I wanted to run this regression and see whether prices were higher in states with a high urban population. So let's find out. And we can see that we can't reject it. The coefficient is zero. So we have no basis for believing that urban states have higher Apple prices. OK, so that's how to do a merge. I'm just going to clear this data out. We're going to use Apple again. Uh, we might as well rename state to state two again. Now I'm going to show you how to append one data set onto another. So if we browse here, right, so we have this data goes down to a certain point. We have 660 observations. If I wanted to add on more observations, now these particular data sets are going to be kind of poorly matched. Uh, what I'd really generally, why I'd be using an append where I have the same variables in another data set. And so now I can just get more observations of the same set of variables. In this case, the only observation that I'm going to have more of is this variable state two. So all I need to do to append this other data, this census data onto here, is just say append using census. And now when I browse, you'll see I have all these new observations down here. These observations are missing on like almost all of the variables from the old data set. They also bring in their own variables, which were not present in apple.dta, but are present in census. So now I have a whole bunch of missing values here for a lot of variables. But this is the way that you would be able to lengthen your data set by adding more observations is using the command append.